Permanent Secretary for the NHI Secretariat, Peter DeVoe Isaacs, is today responding to concerns expressed by the United Healthcare Reform Alliance, which has publicly rejected the proposed NHI model, claiming that members will not sign on if there aren't some changes. DeVoe Isaacs says a series of discussions are ongoing in spite of the delays. We have had some further discussions with some of the members um, of that organization. They didn't mean any harm or injury to the NHI process at all. Um, they thought that they had some constructive comments that they wished to make. And that we, we were prepared, as we've always been, we've had, had an open door policy with, with regards to, to them, an invitation to all and sundry to come and talk with us about NHI. And um, we've had discussions with the individual members of the alliance. Devo Isaac says there are at least 80% of Bahamians who are all for the implementation of NHI and despite the model rejection by the UHRA, NHI officials have the full support of the international partners. Uh, we know that the policy has um, support internationally. It's, 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 it's good international best practice. So we, we, we believe we are on the, 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 the right um, course of action to make sure that we have a reality in, in, in national health insurance. We expect that there will be, from time to time, disagreements and differences of opinion. That's, that's the nature of, of uh, our democracy. But I think it's, it's good government policy. Uh, the prime minister is, is convicted by this. He wishes to see this happen. And uh, we, will, uh, we will implement the government policy.